Hello everyone, my name is Tom Naust. I work for the Bee Cause and I will be playing the role of the Bee Advocate in this informational video. So I just want to introduce you to the hive. Um, what we have here is an established indoor observation hive. Um, as you can see, it's covered right now. The cover will come with the hive. It should remain on the hive whenever it's not being viewed. Um, it simply slides off. And behind there, you, we've got an established hive of European honeybees. And as you can see, um, they've filled out the hive completely. This particular hive is actually already swarmed this year um, and made a new queen. So, the hive swings 180 degrees on both sides for viewing. And this is what it will look like when it is installed and populated. So, as a part of your responsibilities as a bee advocate, uh, the first thing that you'll need to do is to locate a beekeeper in your community to help you to purchase the bees from and that's going to be the person who is going to install the bees into the hive for you and that's also going to be your go-to person if you have any questions or concerns about the health of the colony. The best way to locate a beekeeper in your community is most definitely going to be through your local beekeeping association. Um, you may just Google search for your county. You know, here we're in Charleston County, so Charleston County Beekeepers, and the association will come up, and that's a great way to find a local beekeeper in your community. After you have found a beekeeper, you will be receiving the hive, um, after you've gone through the first several steps in the grant process. Once you get the hive, you will then need to select an install site. Um, it's very crucial that the install site be um, facing a south or southeast orientation. So the actual entrance that is on the other side of this cinder block wall is facing directly south. Um, what I often use is my cell phone, which has a compass on it, and I'll come into the classroom or you know, walk through the school to try to find the best location for the hive. So right now, in this particular school, we are in the elementary science lab, and this is a south-facing wall, and the entrance is on the other side of these cinder blocks. Facing south, it's an excellent location. You'll also notice that there are no um, obstructions around the hive. It can swing freely. There are no air conditioning or heating units close to the hive. That's very important. You don't want uh, any sort of cool or hot air blowing directly on the hive. And there are also no windows around the hive. Um, ideally, this hive is not in direct sunlight. Um, ambient sunlight is fine, uh, there are windows on this wall, um, but you don't want a window directly next to the hive. So after you have chosen a hive location, and it's also great to work with your bee mentor if you have any questions or concerns about the actual location for the hive, they'll be able to guide you and let you know if it's a, a good location or not. Um, so after you have picked the location, you're then going to need to schedule the installation of the actual base that holds the hive on the wall. Um, it's very important that you find a licensed contractor who has experience drilling through whatever material you're working with. So in this case, it's cinder block. Uh, so we had a licensed insured contractor come. He drill the hole through the cinder block um, to supply the entrance and exit tube and then drilled the actual base onto the wall um, and made sure that it was a solid installation and can hold and support the weight of the hive. This hive can weigh upwards of 200 pounds so it's very crucial that the base be installed 
um, securely. So after you have installed the base, you'll then need to schedule with your bee mentor um, to install the actual bees into the hive itself. Um, basically what will happen is it will probably happen early morning or late evening. The beekeeper will bring the bees to the site. You'll take the hive outside, install the bees outside the building, close the hive up, and then bring it back inside and install it on the base. So after you have the bees installed, it's important to consider hive safety. Um, included in the packet that we'll send you will be um, a list of hive safety rules. Um, you can definitely feel free to affix that on the wall next to the hive somewhere. Um, in this case, we also have a lot of educational material on this wall, which is excellent. Um, the biggest concerns for hive safety in my opinion, is just making sure that the kids are very aware and respectful of the fact that the bees do not want to be, you know, moved very quickly when you're when you're operating the hive. You want to just kind of slowly rotate it from side to side, making sure not to bang the hive, um, not to shake the hive. So that's really important. Um, you also want to make sure that the kids are not going to be hanging on the hive, um, generally just treating the hive with a lot of respect. It's, it's good to instill that in the kids immediately so that they really respect um, the hive and the bees inside of it. Uh, there are bolts that keep the plexiglass cover affixed to the hive. Um, there's only bolts on one side. One side of the colony the bolts will not be able to be removed. It's a star nut, um, so you need a specialized tool to remove that side. We don't recommend removing that side. Um, the other side has 7 16 hex bolts, and that's the side you'll actually be physically removing to install the bees. When the beekeeper installs the bees, you want to make sure that all of these hex bolts are tightened just hand tight so that you cannot loosen them with your hand. You don't want to over tighten them. That could lead to you know, creating some sort of gap in the hive. Um, so snug, hand tight, um, just so they cannot be removed by curious little fingers. <laughs> Um, there are also ventilation holes on the bottom of the hive, and they are covered with a little aluminum vent cover. There's also a screen on the inside of the hive, so the bees cannot physically come and go. These, if someone wanted to, they could pull that out. There is still a screen on the inside. Um, just be aware, you know, that, that kids are not trying to remove these. Um, check every so often to make sure they're still in place. Another part of your responsibilities is to do daily and weekly hive checks. And that is really as simple as viewing the hive and having some sort of baseline from the day before. It's really helpful to have some sort of journal to where you're taking detailed notes um, that can be your baseline, so the next day when you go in, or the next week, um, you have something to start from. So, you know, you could take a note, um, they've filled out the third frame, um, and then the next week they're working on the fourth frame. So as they grow, um, you'll have notes um, about what is actually happening in the hive. The general seasonality of the hive is they're going to start off pretty small when they're installed in terms of their population. Generally the install will be four or five frames of bees and honey. Um, so there'll be at least three empty frames in the hive. And then through the summer months, spring and summer, they're going to grow their population, they'll draw more comb, um, they'll fill it with honey, 
and then as fall and winter comes, the population will decrease until they, they may only be covering two frames through the winter. Um, and that cycle will happen every year. They grow in the spring and summer, and then they decrease in the, the fall and winter. Um, it is really important to notify all of the parties that need to be notified, such as your maintenance staff and any neighbors that may need to be notified that the bees are actually on site. So as soon as the beekeeper comes to install the bees, you want to notify certainly the maintenance staff. That's a really important piece. Uh, the maintenance staff is going to be the folks that will be applying any sort of chemicals on site, um, dealing with outside contractors that may be coming to pressure wash or paint. Um, so it's very important that there's good communication between the bee advocate and the maintenance staff. Um, they will Ideally, you, you'll have a dialogue and they will let you know if there's a contractor coming to perform some sort of task near the hive, so you can educate them, um, and vice versa. If, if you are removing the hive for maintenance, um, if the beekeeper is going to come and actually physically remove the hive and open it outside, you'll want to let people know that, that that's going to happen and schedule it so that there's no kids or, or adults on site. Um, the final piece is really leverage the hive. Take photographs, document things in your journal, um, share your progress report in, during the morning announcements. You know, use the hive as much as you possibly can. Um, it's, a, it's a really amazing educational tool. Everyone, I think you'll find, is going to be very excited to, to learn and hear about the workings of the hive and what's actually happening. Um, so definitely do as much as you can to leverage the hive. Again, you know, here you can see they're, they're using some educational posters. Uh, this particular hive is being used in the curriculum when they're learning about insects and life cycles and uh, just the bi biology of the bees and, and other things as well. If you have any questions at any time, you can always contact the Bee Cause, and we are here to help in any way that we can. Um, again, leverage your bee mentor. So if you see anything of concern or that you're just curious about, trust me, as a beekeeper, uh, we love to talk about bees. So anytime you have any questions or concerns, reach out to your bee mentor, reach out to the Bee Cause, um, and we'll deal with any issues that you're having. Um, so that's, that's basically it. You uh, are going to have this amazing educational tool, uh, leverage it the best that you can, and have fun with it. Um, and again, any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to the Bee Cause. Thank you so much.